Hey guys, and welcome to my channel, Times with a Window. Now, as you guys know, Valorant is currently in beta. And while it's a pretty interesting game, there is one massive problem, the anti-cheat. And while the anti-cheat is far from perfect when it comes to catching cheaters, that's not really the problem. The problem is that people are calling it a rootkit. Now, what is a rootkit? Well, according to the dictionary, it is a set of software tools that enables an unauthorized user to gain control of a computer system without being detected. So as you can see in this article, it states that Riot Games, maker of League of Legends, installs Rootkit with their new game, Valorant. If an application from a Chinese company installed a kernel drive onto your system with complete access to your computer, but Pinky promised not to abuse the access and power, would you install the application? Riot Games, the company behind one of the most popular games in the world, League of Legends, recently started publicly beta testing their new game, Valorant. Two months ago, the company was talking about a future anti-cheat technology which would include a Windows kernel driver. Now, this kernel driver would be running in Ring 0. All right, here's an example of what the rings do. Ring 3 is applications, Ring 2 is device drivers, and Ring 1 is even more important device drivers. Ring 0 is the baseline, the most privileged part of your PC. It has access to absolutely everything. Now this kernel driver starts at boot and has full system access even when you're not running Valorant. Now that's a pretty invasive anti-cheat. Now obviously I come from a game like Counter-Strike and their cheaters run rampant. Granted, Valve uses a much less invasive approach when it comes to catching cheaters. Using a three-step system instead with reporting players and watching them in Overwatch, VAC, and of course the Trust Factor system. And personally, I am not a fan of that Trust Factor system. And this is because that system is based on player reports, which really sucks for better players because they end up having to play very low Trust Factor games due to being reported all the time. As such, they get matched up against more cheaters. But you don't have to be an amazing player to see the negatives of Trust Factor. For example, maybe you're having the game of your life, or maybe the other team is just losing by a huge margin and mass reports your team. At the end of the day, there is nothing you can do to control your trust factor. You just gotta pray that the other team doesn't want to report you. Now, because Valve's anti-cheat is so crappy, there have been other services put in place for CSGO. Things like Faceit and ESEA, which have their own anti-cheats. Now, these are far better at getting rid of cheaters than the Valve anti-cheat system. But even these are fairly intrusive. After all, don't forget about the ESEA Bitcoin scandal of 2013. So according to ESEA, here's what happened. They were looking at Bitcoin integration to determine if it was a feature they might want to add in the future. That's when one of the coders decided he wanted to use it for his own personal gain. And because of this, the client was updated with the code inside of it and started to use everyone's computer that was running it to mine bitcoins. This even ended up destroying a few people's computers. So if something like that has happened once before, what's to say that it won't happen with an even more intrusive anti-cheat? See, the thing about the ESEA client or the Faceit anti-cheat is that you have to open them to get them to run. But when it comes to the Valorant anti-cheat, it's always running from the second you turn on your computer. And it's logging every single thing you do. Well, if an anti-cheat is embedded that deeply into your system, obviously no one should be able to cheat, right? As you can see in the footage here, that is obviously not the case. People have been cheating in Valorant since the first day of the closed beta. And because this is the first game that has a kernel level anti-cheat, a lot of cheat developers are taking it as a challenge. Now the truth is, this anti-cheat is much harder to get around than Valve's anti-cheat system. But is the lack of privacy worth it if cheaters are still going to find a way to bypass it eventually? After all, some of them already have, which you can see in the footage right in front of you. Now, personally, I'm all for a better anti-cheat that makes it harder on cheaters. But I also don't like the idea of a background program running and recording everything I'm doing throughout the day. After all, I don't want people getting my bank account information or anything important. That being said, I'd have absolutely no problem with a really deep anti-cheat only being active when I opened up the game. But upon starting my PC, well, that's another story. Now, I'm hoping they change this anti-cheat in the future so that it just launches when you launch the game. But as for now, there seems to be two ways to potentially disable it until you play. Now, the first and easiest way to do this, according to Riot Games, is just go to Add Remove Programs and remove Riot Vanguard. After you do this, you simply restart and supposedly the anti-cheat won't be running. But when you start the game, you will receive this message, System Reboot Required. Vanguard Anti-Cheat has not finished installing. Please reboot your computer to finish installation. Vanguard Anti-Cheat protects the game from cheaters and is required to play the game. Now while this does seem to work, I'm not sure if it actually stops all of the Vanguard processes from running in the background. Though I'd hope it would because you are literally uninstalling the entire Anti-Cheat, so hopefully it doesn't go any deeper than that. Now, if you don't want to keep uninstalling and reinstalling the same program over and over again, there's another way to deactivate it. 
To do this, you go to search, type in CMD, and right-click on Command Prompt. Then select Run as Administrator. Next up, type SC space config space VGK space start equals space disabled. After this, just like uninstalling it, you're going to need to restart your computer. Now it won't be running in the background, but you also won't be able to play the game unless you re-enable it. To re-enable it, you open up CMD prompt as administrator again, but this time you type this in. SC space config space VGK space start equals space system. Now while these steps aren't difficult, they can be a little bit time consuming and it can be frustrating to try to remember these commands. Luckily, there is a little easier way to go about it. First, right click on your desktop and go to open new text document. Next, copy the command to disable it in the CMD. Then go to save as. Now change save type as from text document to all files. Name it anything you want, but end it with a .bat at the end. Now all you have to do if you want to disable the anti-cheat is right click on this and say run as administrator. After that, restart your computer and the anti-cheat will no longer be running in the background. Now to re-enable the anti-cheat if you want to play, all you gotta do is everything you did to disable the anti-cheat, but instead of typing disabled at the end, you just change that to system. And now you have two batch files, one that will enable it and one that will disable it. And with that, I have just helped you hack the anti-cheat. Well, you know what they say, either die a hero or live long enough to become the villain. But honestly, this anti-cheat has gotten way out of hand. Now don't get me wrong, I like being protected from cheaters, but I draw the line when they're taking all of my personal information throughout the entire day. After all, most people use their computers for far more than just gaming. Anyways guys, what do you guys think about the anti-cheat? Do you think they just went too far with it this time, or do you think this is a necessary step? After all, more and more companies are gathering more and more information on everyone. From Discord to Facebook, we almost have zero privacy as it is, but at least you have to open those things up. I feel like Riot Games and the creators of Valorant really need to take a step back and look at their anti-cheat and find a way to make it more effective without being so intrusive. Either that, or at least make it so it only runs when you run the game. Honestly, with the way it's currently set up, I can't believe it's even legal. Anyways guys, that's it for this video. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below, and as always, have a great day.